Hey everyone! Alright, so this is my first ever dev tip about TypeScript. Uh, I have been uh, moving some of my code to TypeScript. It's kind of a long story of why I'm migrating from Flow to TypeScript, and I'll tell that story eventually. Um, but uh, yeah, so in this process of moving things over, I'm learning some new things. Um, and uh, one of the things that I'm learning, and this is actually something that bar bothered with me with Flow as well, um, but yeah, the, I, I had some code that was just vanilla JavaScript that was written like this. Uh, it wasn't foo and bar, it was like actual examples, but I'm extracting this out to a simple example so that you can understand what's going on. Um, so it says that bar does not exist on type object, which makes a lot of sense uh, because there is no um, bar property in here. If I had bar as high, then it would be f like fine because then it can infer the type but it doesn't have anything on there. And I was like, well, I mean, I'm handling the case where it's not defined. So who cares if it doesn't exist on that type, it's gonna default to a value. And uh, so I tweeted about this and I said, why like, so like one thing that I, um, I was thinking that I could do is I'd say let bar and then if foo.bar and then bar equals foo.bar. Um, but it turns out that actually doesn't work either. Um, yeah, I just assumed that I'd be able to do that, um, but yeah, I can't do that either, uh, which is like even more annoying. Um, and so I was like, yeah, it's really silly that TypeScript doesn't support this. As you can see, a lot of people gave me feedback and lots of them were like, well, you just you know type foo. And I was like, yeah, but I don't wanna have to type foo because I'm handling the bars undefined case anyway. Uh, so it was just kind of annoying, but then, a couple people said some things and I thought about it a little bit and then I realized why it's important um, to have types for that. And I'll show you why now. So um, part of the reason why I didn't wanna have to type this was because I'm receiving it, well, it's it's a little bit uh, more contrived, but um, I, I didn't really have a whole lot of control over the typings for this uh, without I casting it or something and I didn't wanna have to do that. So. Um, um, yeah, but let's let's assume for a moment that there's a scenario where foo actually does have a bar property, um, but that bar property is uh, turns out it's not a string. So if I said uh, console log foo dot um, slice, you know, from zero to three or something, I want to just get the three uh, first three characters. So history will have it be yeah, actual. Makes sense. Um, so now it's saying, hey, slice doesn't exist on type object. Um, so things are like all kinds of messed up because it doesn't know what f what bar is. So in the scenario that um, bar, uh, like that foo actually has a bar property here, then it doesn't know if it, ha like what type it is. It could be an object, it could be an array, and so it would work. It could be a Boolean, it doesn't know. Um, whereas if it falls back to just a string, then uh, that works fine, except slice what? Oh, aha, this should be bar. There we go. Um, yeah, so like it, let's let's take a scenario where bar actually is a number. So we say bar is three. Now we get um, a proper error, but if we didn't type things properly, if, if it just wasn't typed at all, uh, we're just accepting it and I, I say, oh, TypeScript, ignore this, whatever. I don't know how to ignore lines in TypeScript if that's even possible. Um, yes, ignore. Uh, I think, right? No, I don't know. But I think there's a way to do that. Um, but uh, yeah, so if I just let this go, then in production or whatever, it's going to come along here and it's like, oh, this time foo actually does have a bar. So we're not gonna use the default value. We'll continue on and oh, can't call slice on a number. So that's the reason why it's important to, uh, why TypeScript is like, hey, foo doesn't, the type foo does not have a bar property or the type that foo is do, does not have a bar property. So I can't give you any type safety on however you use this variable. Even if you're defaulting it to something else, um, it, like in the scenario where that default doesn't come in uh, into account or doesn't actually happen, if there is no default needed, then I don't know what the type is. And so the solution to this um, is like various, we can say um, foo, ah, not all caps, foo, and then say type foo equals bar question mark um, string. And so we can say, hey, if it has a, a bar property, then it's going to be a string. 
um, and then that solves our problem. There are various other ways syntactically to write this, um, but uh, yeah, so let me just check out really quick. Um, okay, so King Daro is saying it can also do bar in foo. Um, so bar in foo, then foo.bar, otherwise, I guess, oh, that's got to be in caps, right? Or in a string. Yeah, and then I think what King Daro is saying is actually that, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there are various ways to do this. Okay, let me just see. Oh, people are saying, hey, TS ignores how you do this. So this is what you don't do in this situation because the type checker is actually telling you something right. But what we can do is at TS ignore. And then, right, that's what they're saying. Yeah, there we go on the line previous. Thank you, the six people, three people who said that. Um, Cool. Yeah. So that's the thing that I learned. Um, what did you learn? Go ahead and live stream your own thing. It'll be great. Okay. I'm going to jump out. I hope that was interesting and fun and whatever. There are reasons that the type checker is telling you that your code has um, potential problems. Um, and well, it's, well, I don't feel uh, shame or whatever or guilty for uh, questioning things. Um, it uh, It's a question that like is worth worth answering now i understand and um, i can i can go along with it one thing that i will not accept is the fact that i can't configure typescript to just use jsx for all of my typescript files um, i'm pretty much just going to name all my typescript files dot tsx because i think it's silly to memorize rules between the two but that's a conversation for another another day okay um Okay, so uh, Gerardo is saying, I did a little bit of TypeScript in Angular. Now in React, I was thinking about doing Flow. What's your suggestion? Uh, so without getting too far into my story of how I'm switching over to TypeScript, um, I would just say use TypeScript. The community is way bigger um, and the tool is better. Um, so yeah, uh, I'll write a blog post if you want. Uh, it'll probably appear um, on my newsletter first, so I'll just paste that in here, um, and you can get that. Uh, it'll be in a couple weeks probably. I want to have some time to actually play around with TypeScript and stuff before I actually write out about why I'm making this decision, but um, so far it's been really positive. Um, just the tooling is so much better. All right, I'm going to jump out. I hope you have a nice day, and I will see you all later. Goodbye.